On Thursday, European Central Bank ramped up its pandemic bond buying to 1.35 trillion euros. We found out that the U.S. weekly jobless claims totaled 1.8 877 million last week and that its exports and imports fell sharply in April but the UK construction sector downturn eased in May following the slump in April. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. Now, Friday will be eyeing Canada's jobs report and the US non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate. Today I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair which finally broke below the key support level of 0.96 at, as the US dollar sell-off continues across the board. The future Ichimoku cloud appears bearish so we could expect the pair to revisit the next support levels of 0.94 and 0.92 in the medium and long term respectively. How long do you think the US dollar will remain under pressure? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.